Yo, what is up, guys? This is Beast Wave 4 Gaming. About to play a horror movie game thing in a dark room, and I'm about to make some very bad decisions. I was literally putting on my headphones when I was starting to play this game, or I was like loading the game, and the intro scared the crap out of me. Like, I. Oh my god, I. It is unreal how scared I, I am at just the potential of this game. Because again, I'm in a dark room, the only light in here is my TV and my ring light. And there is about to be some scary things going on here. If you guys are not familiar with this game, this game is similar to The Walking Dead in the sense that... Uh, how do I explain it? That... Oh, what do I say? It's a role-playing game. So, like, the decision... Or, not role... I guess. But, like, also, like, the decisions you make factor into the ending of the story. Because, so, like, it branches. It kind of explains that in the butterfly effect. Like, you know, it... it there are different endings you can get, there are different things you can do, and that's all based off of the choices you make. The game is tailored to how you play, to, to quote The Walking Dead. So, without further ado, let's get a new story. I technically have a new story going, but that was just because I, I was, like, trying to, like, try out something with a recording thing. Because the way I'm, re I'm recording this differently than what I usually am, because usually if I record this simply off of my computer... Um, the game audio won't pick up if I have my headphones plugged in, so I'm recording the game on my, uh, PS4, and then I'm recording my webcam on my computer. So I'm praying, I am praying that this works. So the butterfly effects. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. So that's, you know, the key ones there, obviously, as you can see, tiny butterfly, devastating hurricane. That's what I was saying before, because this is what I remember. This was like the, the little bit that I remember from when I was trying to get a recording uh, thing going. Uh, the smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Branching stories. Again, that's what I'm saying. It branches this and that. How the story unfolds. Yes, sir or madam. Or prefer not to disclose. You know, we don't discriminate here. Your story is one of many possibilities. If this is anything like Walking Dead, that's a lie. But, you know, choose your actions carefully. I was going to say, please don't make it a jump scare. <laughs> please don't make the jump scares. I'm not prepared for them yet. My ears. Oh, God. I'm all, all this music. I'm not used to hearing music. I don't like this. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Please don't let my recording screw up either. I don't want my audio to cut out in the middle of it. Oh, God. Now I'm going to feel like someone's behind me every time I look around my shoulder. Who was that? Oh, my God. I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Don't you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Why is it so dark? She deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my hand moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl and just because your Why is it so dark? Is that just me? Why is it so dark in this place? I am I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Hey, there's Hayden Penetier. There she is. Where has she been lately? It's t I haven't heard anything from her in like 20 like not 20 years. It's 2021. I don't think she's done anything recently. <laughs> Why does she look so creepy? She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Now, who's this? And who is that? Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Am I am I am I controlling her? Oh, I'm I'm controlling her. How? I do not know how to play this yet. It's so dark. Wait. I can't see yet where I'm walking at all. Wait, so use the right stick to look around and inspect the others. Yeah, that's... 
Okay. How do I click on him? Do I have to... Oh, I have to click X? Press and hold R2 to pick up the bottle. Hold R2 to use... Wait, and inspect objects. Is that it? Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Oh, I can barely see who anyone is. There's some gleaming over here. Wait a minute. Note. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest. I'm assuming it says room at 2 a.m. Mike. Is that what they're oh doing? My God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? I got your note. This Why is everything so dark? Is that just me? Maybe we should start with a little... You know, making out and see where it goes from there. Is that just why does it have to be so dark? Oh hell yeah. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all got out of here. Just but... a stupid prank. Uh hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? Oh yeah. god. That really was poorly ex that was poorly executed. Now she's going outside? Use the right stick to to choose. What? Oh! Find others wake we're waking Josh! 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 Fuck! Okay, then maybe that was a bad decision. Now oh I should have found the others! I should have found the others! Take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Oh no. Hannah. And Hannah. you're going out into the Oh. Should we go after her? Yes! Yes, you should go I after her! I think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Wait, and before time runs out, oh, okay. Shit. I'm trying to keep an eye on my screen, but it's so dark. Safe. We're gonna go the safe route here cuz she hasn't She hasn't gone that far. She couldn't have she didn't look like she was running very fast Following her footsteps, okay. Oh Which path? Oh, which path? Which path? Uh, follow the footprints. Follow the footprints. Follow the footprints You're not you don't you ever follow the noise. Are you insane? Running towards an elk? Or what are you doing? Or a moose? Fuck shit. Or whatever the heck those were? I think still going. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Uh I don't like the loud noises and darkness. What? How did she there's no way she got this far? Use the touchpad as shown. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Status update. Hannah. Oh God, well, I don't like this. You can direct the light beam using the right stick. Thank you. Thank you. Oh no. What? What is this? What is this? What in the world is going on? I, she's gotta be out this way, right? What? Whoa! 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 To walk faster. I'm holding that to walk faster. Are you kidding me? Why why am I not seeing Hello? Hello? Oh no. What where I was just where is the thing going? That sounds like angry elk things. Hannah! Are those my footprints or hers? 
this that is not normal that is not normal is there a way can I turn back what is that Forever to get up to. Oh, he dropped the phone. Great. Jesus Christ. Oh, snap. No! No! Shit! No! Get back! No! Ah, oh, they're going to hold on. Oh, uh, Oh, the others should have come with us. Where are the others? Hold on. Hold on. Oh god, what is that? What is that? Is it trying? Wait, it looks like it's trying to pull me up. Roll we'll and go. Roll we'll and go. Why was there not an option to take it back? Oh, oh. She hit her back pretty hard on that. Oh, the analyst, Dr. A.J. Hill. Okay. Before we begin, so quiet. there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Isn't this the dude that got eaten by compies in Jurassic Park? So... You have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. Great. And I want to help you see it through. I, I do. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. This guy is more creepy than what's happened in the game so far. Right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? Pick up and I the want card. you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Um. Oh. Why do, why do we have gloves on? Uh. I feel terrified. So, how did I feel terrified by that picture, to be honest. Feel. Remember, be honest. Terrified. Uneasy. Uneasy. Definitely uneasy. Okay. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? The scarecrow. The scarecrow does it all. Definitely the scarecrow. Okay, so they keep prepared for this. I see. I see. Let's see. Scarecrow, we're not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. I don't know. Uh, Scarecrow weren't there. Is this like a timed thing? Uh, I... In a barn? I mean, I'm... I guess, sure. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage... That's a cottage? It looks like a barn. Haunt! Oh. I 
right, all right. I sense that you suffer from a significant fear of, of the supernatural. Oh, that's great. What lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. Yeah, that is you true. Agree? And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? I, I mean, I agree with that wholeheartedly. Terror of uncertainty. What are his facial expressions? This is only a game. That's a lie. This is, I mean, I guess it's not Well, wrong. we seem to be out of time for this session. But we'll talk again very soon. What okay. the? Sir, if you could sit back down, please, I would feel much less intimidated. I am getting chills right now. Oh god, if this is the same thing as the, as the, whatchamacallit, I'm gonna need to turn my volume down for this. Supermassive games. If, if it flashes until dawn in my face again, I swear to god. Oh, it didn't flash it, okay. It, it, it faded it in this time. I don't know if the music's playing. Hopefully, I don't get copyrighted for that. Because if, if, okay, in the event that the music can't be heard right now, which I won't know until I'm editing this, oh, okay. Um, uh, if there isn't music being heard right now, there is music in my headphones. I just hope I don't get copyrighted for it. Peter Stormare. Um, Rammy Mouth. Okay. I thought that was Rammy Mouth. Okay, this is nice, I guess. Jordan Fisher. Is there a way to skip this? No, I don't think they're skipping it. Megan Martin, Ella Lentini. I mean, I guess we're getting a good idea of who's all in this. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein. Thanks for having me, Mark. <laughs> I'm serious. This game is giving me chills right now. Oh my God. Why did I? Why did I agree with myself to do this? Foul play. Not officially. No. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. Why are you saying this on a radio show, like as a sheriff? He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. Oh, God, that's creepy. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me. And I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. But I just want you all to know um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. You know, thinking of them. Um, really they seem kind of pissed at us. Time and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and you know okay so let's party like we're fucking porn stars okay make this one trip we will never forget all right yes <laughs> that was on the radio show because it, it seemed like to transition Oh, okay, we're going right to credits. 
Larry Fessenden. I, I'm thinking that's the dude that I saw. I said was from Jurassic Park. Oh. Okay. Well, Jason Griffin. Oh, I something. I'm, I'm not sleeping tonight after this. Chapel. Got Chapel. We got Rocking Horse that I'm not a fan of. Um, mysterious looking sign. I'm just, I'm ex I, I, I don't know anymore. There's, there's a bus that drove us all the way out here. Okay, Memento Mori, and because I read the, uh, it's 10 hours until dawn, why is it so late? Because I read whatchamacallit, uh, what is, how is no one noticing this dude? Because I read, um, uh, why, a series of unfortunate events, Memento Mori means remember you will die, or at least that's what it says in the books. Hannah's best friend, that was a, diligent, considerate, adventurous, okay. I don't think I. I just needed the names. Hello. But I, they already have them in parentheses, so I just. There? Path to cable car station. So three hours before midnight. Why? Why are we doing this at nine o'clock at night? You can use right stick to move the camera. Thank you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait a minute. Why don't I just press R one? R one. I just pressed R1 by random. The twins, 1952, Mystery Man, Totems, Butterfly Effect, what the what? Death? God, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute. Um, I meant to hit L1 to walk faster. You guys have to look around. Objects that glint can be inspected. Yeah, but they glint for such a short amount of time. Gates busted. Climb over. Chris. Oh, what? <sighs> Damn it. Climb over. Climb over how? Oh, Jesus. Never mind. Climb over. That thing's enormous. Is there what? Wait, climb over. Oh, climb. Is this a way to climb over? Like it? it that seems oddly dangerous. We're we're gonna go to safe route here. You don't want to climb up too quickly and then fall to your death. Oh crap! Circle. Uh, climb. Triangle. Square. Oh, that looks safe. Oh, and someone's watching us. That is horrible on your knees. Um, is is this the path I'm supposed to take? I'm assuming it's over here. When the don't move icon is on the screen, keep the wireless controller as still as possible. I'm trying. If if I would have moved my controller, would he have like run away? I'm curious to see what happens if I just start shaking my controller. I'm sure to next you. Oh, your current objective is is R is R1. Okay, so if I don't know what I'm supposed to do, I can just hit R1. Got it. Uh, well, I can barely see anything. Okay, all these flapping birds can just stop. What is that? Does that read anything? Oh, what is that? Butterfly prophe prof prophecies. I can read. Black butterflies prophe prophesized the dreamer's death. So we want, we want, we want yellow and, and white butterflies. We want those butterflies. If I can find them. Oh, that looks like a totem. Picking up a totem and turning over will reveal a colored butterfly and a, pre a pre premonition. Um, okay. 
How do I pick it up? I p that's R2, right? What color butterfly? Is this yellow or white? That's yellow. Is that a bird? Guidance totem. What is a guidance totem? Um. Play the events of the past. Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Oh. Okay. So if I like find a bird, I'm assuming I have to go like because it's a guidance one. Like, do I the future's uncertain whether or not the prophecy wait. Okay, do I follow the bird? Do I follow the bird? Where do I go? Again, I can't see anything because everything is so dark. Chris, you here? Oh, there's a backpack. If I could get over to it without. Bags here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. There's a phone. Oh god, I feel like there's about to be a jump scare. We're ah. Uh. You know what? It's it's someone's phone. We're gonna snoop. That might be a bad choice. Aha! Uh -huh. Look who it is. That was probably a bad choice. That was probably a bad choice. <laughs> Chris has a crush on Ashley. Okay, protective, humorous, methodical. You scared me. I, I'm sorry. Are are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well. Thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. All right. Okay, chill. Chill. Chillax. Shabak Shalom. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. I don't trust people anymore. Right, right. Just because of what y'all no, did last not. year. I, I don't trust anything that you guys have to say. What is this? Wanted poster, Victor Milgram. 6-2. Wanted in connection with first degree arson offense, as well as various death threats. I mean, there was that fire going around. They were doing all that fire crap. Pretty rad, right? What is this? I, again, I can barely see crap. On, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. You're pointing. Like you're pointing the dad. gun in an unsafe direction, sir. Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. Oh, now we're are we taking right. control of what's his face here? Why is everything so dark? Oh, we're shoot are we shooting stuff now? Is this why? What what am I supposed to be doing? Use the right stick to aim, press R2 to shoot. Oh. Did I miss? Or did I hit? Time to show oh okay, so it's how much time I have left. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginning. I'm gonna turn this up because I, I feel like I'm not so, getting girl. the full experience. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh god, not don't shoot the squirrel. Don't make me shoot the squirrel. Oh no. Uh, don't make me shoot the squirrel. Don't make me shoot the squirrel. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. God, this guy is corny. Hey, shooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris. The well, yeah, you don't want to be shooting guns in the middle of a dark forest where murders happened a year ago and there are totems around the place. I get you don't realize it's a horror game yet, but like, have some common sense. Oh, I just ran into a tree. Now he's looking at this. Man, 
it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. Yeah, it really does. Like, this time at the recording, at the time of this recording, this time a year ago, I was still in school. And COVID hadn't mainly hit the United States yet. That's weird. Doors locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked, to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, he's got the key. That's I pay attention. Come on. All right. Are you? Oh, what is going on here? Him. We're still getting introduced to some of the characters. This has been a, a weird experience. Must be really hard on Josh. I I don't know how he keeps it all together. I, I'd be See, this is light. He's gonna have to keep an eye on him. He's been going through so much, and he seems like the kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help. You know? Am I supposed to be walking around? What am yeah. I supposed to be doing? Am I supposed to be walking around? Like I still have like free reign over what he does. Am I supposed to walk back here? And I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. Hotel and sanatorium. For a healthy body and, and mind. What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. That's how do I get out of this? I was gonna say. That sounds like it's getting close. I should probably go back. Yep, here we go. God, that thing looks old and rickety. Did we get in? Yep, I'm assuming we're getting in. You coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Dad, that does not sit well with me. That thing gives me the creeps. I'm just like going to the prom. Except prom is probably death. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting. I think you like snap at any moment and we go plummeting to our Josh deaths. Seem really pumped about us all. Like, that's probably very pessimistic of me to yeah, say, no, but it's just like it's did. it's a fact. I haven't it's seen a factual so statement. Something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, you know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. Oh, she said bro. Oh, no, he likes Ashley, you know though, let's so that's just, fine. Let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap-snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So, I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra. In third grade? Like, what? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Oh, they broke the fourth wall. What third grader snaps a girl's training bra? What? What? How immature do you have to be? I get you're in third grade. But, like, that's... No. What in the... What? Mike's new girlfriend. Who was his old... Wait, was that Sam that was his old one? Mike's new girlfriend. Jess. Wait, wait wasn't she there? She was there at the last one. She was there at the prank, wasn't she? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. New people? You guys... But you guys know each other. Right? At least I thought. God! Jess! Hey! Jessica, Ooh. over here! Uh, are you guys I felt my really soul leave stroke? my body. We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Yes, we're pressing... We're pressing R2. Oh, 
Oh I'm not gonna like this game. I, I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. He Wait. is trying way hey, too hard. Chris. I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do oh not be a jerk. God, I was my simply goodness. checking your phone. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. I mean, just say you're with Mike. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. That seems very rude. I mean, yeah, you just, you all gotta be, you all gotta be all upset about it. You just be like, hey, give it back. I like, just ex say, hey. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. Wait, watch Emily walks in. What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? Wait, is 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 Jess dating Mike or is she crushing on Mike? That is a beautiful sight, not gonna lie. Stop and take it all in. I'm stopping to take a lot of this in. You know what? We're pausing the game. Cause I don't wanna I don't wanna well, actually first of all before I set my controller down and do my usual shtick. Uh, how do I character info? How do I change characters? Is there not a way to change characters? Uh, he has a greater or the greatest relationship with Emily and Jess almost equally, so that has me kind of confused. Butterfly effect. Any of your business. Sam looked at Chris's incoming message. Chris was offended by Sam's indiscretion. Oh boy. I'm I'm doing it. Oh. Uh, Chris was offended by Sam's indiscretion. Chris criticized Sam for being nosy. Oh, that was it. Okay. And then, rats with bushy tails. Chris chose not to shoot the squirrel. Nature remained in balance. Oh! So because I didn't shoot the squirrel, nature remained in balance. Is that- that's a good thing, right? I hope so? Uh, totems. We only have the one totem. How do I inspect? Found near the lower cable. Is there like, is there a way I can find out what that means? Oh! Um. And driven mad? And driven mad? Um. One, oh, the mystery man, a wanted poster, anything about 1952 or about the twins. Wait, clue one was not found. Oh, okay, so we just haven't found it yet. Okay. All right, so I think I've seen enough to at least get a grip on what the story is so far. If you guys want me to do episode number two, please let me, I'm trying to make sure my mic quality is, is staying good here because in case you guys didn't know, I'm actually using a different mic. Like, I'm not using this as even though it's down, I'm just, I'm using my normal mic. Okay, it got silent in the game, and I was like, what? Alright. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys let me know down in the comment section. Also, make sure you guys like and comment and subscribe and turn on post notifications. So you know when, when I'm posting. Yeah, it, was pro it wasn't probably the most scariest thing, but you know, it's just introducing the story. The deeper we get into this series, the more shrieks I'll give. Uh, so you guys will probably be entertained with that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and this is Beast Red 4 Gaming, signing out.